fluctuations that we've been having lately have an impact on their health, and it turns out that they do. News 18's Amber Hardwick joins us now with a look at that. Amber? Jeff, on Monday the 7th, low temperature of 14 below zero, and by Monday the 13th, Lafayette reached a high of 50 degrees, and that's a 64 degree difference in a matter of a week, and the extreme change can have an impact on a person's body. It seems like only in Indiana we can go from sub-zero highs to above average highs in the 50s in one week. We asked Purdue students what they thought about Indiana weather. They didn't have the most positive responses. It's horrendous. Uh, basically every morning I just have to get up and play weather roulette. Uh, d decide what you're going to wear this morning. It's just the nice thing is that I guess at least sometimes it's warm. Oh, it's absolutely awful and I wish it would warm up because I have sinuses. <laughs> I get the sinus stuff really bad. Uh, well, it sucks, but I don't know. I couldn't imagine being anywhere else. Dr. Scott Carrington with Franciscan St. Elizabeth Health says the weather can affect a person's body. Mostly along the line of nasal congestion and sometimes even airway tightening and, and cough that can result from severe changes in weather. Carrington says doing strenuous work in the cold can contribute to catching influenza, but the cold weather is not the cause. He says it's possible to wear yourself out and weaken your immune system. We tend to believe that it has more to do with people being in enclosed spaces together more rather than necessarily being in the cold itself. Aches and pains go along with the changing weather, but they're related to changes in barometric pressure. Joint pains with weather changes are very real. Um, some people very rightly call their knees a barometer uh, when their arthritis is acting up. With the ever-changing weather in Indiana, it's hard to avoid the aches, pains, and stuffy noses that come with the season. Honestly, that's kind of Indiana weather. And mom's advice holds true. Dr. Carrington says it's always best to wash your hands and cover your cough if you do have flu-like symptoms. He says if you have discomfort, a fever, or trouble breathing, it's best to visit your physician.